Snip, snip. Oh. Snip, snip. <laughs> oh. Aww. Aww. Hi, everybody. My name is Steph. I'm Kim. And today on Tasteable, what are we doing, Kimberly? We are trying some unique uh, flavored chips. Some spicy and some, I guess, just flavorful ones. So, well, some yeah. of them are not necessarily unique. A lot of people know some of these, but we don't. Well, when I say unique, I just mean some of them we haven't had before and or they might be spicy or they might be um, like some unique flavor profiles. You'll see. I want to share with everybody these. Mm. Um, they're, I don't know if you would consider them unique, but I grew up with Twisties mm. as a very common um, uh, snack in Singapore. Uh, I've had all these different flavors before and I like all of them. And um, one of our Singapore restaurants in Toronto started to have a little convenience store. So yeah. Let's make sure I can eat them first. Totally can have this one. This one's fine. This one too. There's nothing in there. It's just flavoring. That's what I assumed. Cheese, chick roast chicken, and barbecue curry. Curry. Alrighty. I like I like the name of this though. This one is Kaboom Barbecue Curry. And that roast one's... chicken dance. Very good. And this okay. is cheeky cheddar cheese. Cute, cute names. I don't remember that they ever used to call them these, but whatever. I think we'll try roast chicken first. Okay. It's the only time Kim's gonna have meat. It's there's no meat in these. We checked already. Whoa, it smells like um it smells, it smells like, like chicken bouillon. Yeah, um, or anytime you have a uh, instant noodles that's chicken flavored. Yeah, that's packet. what it smells like. Pink. Yeah, I've had this. In the south, we have things called chicken crackers, mm. and um, it tastes like these. I do remember this is one of my favorite flavors. It's good. The best way I can explain to you is it tastes a little bit like chicken bouillon, just not as salty. Yeah. The, the cracker itself is actually like the texture of Cheetos. Yeah. Exactly. And the flavoring, for those that are from like America, especially in the South, we have chicken crackers. Like they're called, I forget what they're called, chicken. Anyways, they're little crackers that you have. Hmm. And Singapore too, there's a, I think in Asia, there's another cracker called chicken in a box. Chicken in a box. Chicken oh, in chicken, a biscuit. Chicken, chicken in a biscuit. biscuit. That's the same thing that we have. Mm. The southern one. Oh my gosh. That's I exactly love that what I was just talking so about. Much. I'm gonna insert chicken in a biscuit. That's Fingers. hilarious that you have that because as the name indicates, it's very clearly from like, chicken in a biscuit is for sure the southern one. Hopefully I have not misspoke, but I am almost like 99.9% you know positive. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I remember that I really like this. That is exactly what it tastes like I to me. I have to give too, it though. a nine and a half. Yeah, a nine. I mean, it's good. I like right. it. Kabao barbecue curry. Kaboom or kabao? Kaboom. Thank you. Kabao. I mean, it smells like curry. It smells like, I mean, it smells like the typical curry you get. Like the. The picture is of a kebab, like a beef kebab. It smells like your um, your brace, basic uh, yellow curry. Mm. Ready? I remember this. It's like a garam masala flavor, actually. Mm. They have a little heat to them. They're definitely for, because it's not common in North America, I would consider this specialty flavors. Mm. That's why we said unique, but mm. oh, actually unique there's flavors. a decent amount of heat to it. Mm -hmm. These are pretty good. I still give it a nine and a half. I'm biased. <laughs> it tastes like a curry covered Cheeto. Smoky, curry. Heat, a little bit of heat. heat. It tastes like a- Savory. It tastes, once I took a bite of it, I thought it, it, it smelt like, and I thought it was a yellow curry, but it it's, um, tastes like garam masala. And I really apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but that's what it tastes like to me. Last one, twist, twisty cheese. Cheeky cheddar. It? Cheeky cheddar. It's not neon. Does it have actual milk product in it? It does, milk. Good, it's real cheese then. This would be the most common one. 
Oh, it's very light colored. Yeah, not neon. There's our cheese cracker. It's very mild. As for also, I was just say we just had it after that one that has a very strong flavor, so that's I still color. like it though. Yeah. That's good. Mm. Twisties. Very good. I was still I'll give them all nine and a half. But I'm biased again. I definitely like the other two much better. So for me, the cheddar cheese is also not my favorite chip flavor. I'm not a big like nacho chip flavor or anything, but those um, are an eight. They're still very good, but the other ones like have a far more unique, they're really good flavor. So I got these cause I really like spice. Steph can't always handle spice, but that's where the fun in today is. So mild, extreme, and these are ghost pepper, so. Okay, so this is a zesty nacho, mm -hmm. mild Takis explosion. No, it's mild, you'll be fine. You've never had Takis, right? Oh, smell it, it smells like salsa. Yeah, you've never had- I've never had Takis before. It's okay. These are really good. I like Takis a lot. I grew up with them, so. I mean, face grew up, I had them. Face the intensity, a fiery fusion of tang and spice rolled up in one taste bud tingling chip. All right, let's do this. Mm. It just saves you from dipping into salsa and eating it. They're so good. They are very good. I can't say mm. anything negative about them. Takis are the best. They're so good. Tangy. Mm -hmm. Cheesy. Mm. Crunchy. Mm. Tastes like salsa. Yep. Tastes like tortilla in a salsa. Yep. It's it's really just that. And there's like a, a some slime. Yeah, a little bit a little like bit tang. of freshness tang, in right? the tang. Yeah. Yeah. They're really good, right? Very good. Nine and a half. Yes, I will say nine and a half as well. I really like these. Takis number see? two. So you think, does that mean you think the ghost pepper ones are going to be the hottest? Yes. Okay. We went from Taki Mile to Taki's Extreme. Mm, what flavor profile does someone say it is? Describe it says it. it is hot chili pepper and lime. I am in trouble. Fuego. All the right. other ones are called Taki Explosion. These are Taki's Fuego. 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 Which is fire, right? Mm. When all else fails, use your teeth. Ready. This is redder. Yes. Holy is redder than the other one. It's gonna be good. Let me get my water. I'm Maybe gonna I should get milk bad. instead. But extreme. Here Way we go. go. So good. The lime is actually what hits you first. That tanginess of the lime hits you first. I actually don't think these are that hot. They're not even as hot as the... Um, I know they build though, so I do know as the more you eat that they get hotter. They're not even as spicy as the Dorito sweet and spicy Thai chili. Okay, no, I am lying. That's, you're lying, lying, that is not true. I... Because it's been, it's been a little while since I've had these because we live in Canada and they weren't as accessible here. So they've only come here, I think, in the last few years. Back home, I had them. But they're not as spicy as I remember them. I've I thought they were yeah. spicier. I I can imagine them building because I do feel the heat on my tongue. Um, but eating a couple of pieces, I think it's okay. Yeah. I don't actually find it uh, extreme spicy. Aside from the heat, just from a basic flavor, do you mm. what, do you have a preference? I think I really like this one because the uh, there is a burst of sour lime mm -hmm. in your mouth. Then there's the heat. Then there's the saltiness, and then there's um, it's just, it's, it's good. Like, I feel like that one just tastes like salsa. Yeah. This one is different. There's another brand that I remember when we were in Mexico that I had that tastes not similar because the chip is different. It's more an actual chip than these. And the natural chip. Like a potato chip. These are made out of corn that we had that have a similar like lime front facing and heat. They're really good too. This would be really good for party snacks for sure. Oh, they're so good, yeah. Compared, I mean, Doritos are great too, but these are Can you imagine good. these in guacamole? Mmm. Right? 
Yep. All right, now I'm scared. So this is a product of Canada, apparently. And it's it doesn't called have Heart a... Bite Handcrafted Style Chips. Yep. Avocado oil, sweet ghost pepper. Yeah, there's no warnings of heat on it though, so I imagine it can't be that spicy. Canada. I might have forgotten to show you. All potato, no couch, it says in the back. They don't smell spicy. Maybe they're not spicy. So the thing about hard bites is they're very crisp. They're, as the name kind of indicates, they're um, they're very crispy potato chips, which you'll probably hear the ASMR in a second on this. Let's be really quiet and let's do it. You guys ready for it? Yeah. It's sweet. I mean, it's that sweet. But there is no heat. These can't How be can beat. How in the world? Ghost pepper is very. I'm rhyming to the beat. Wait, that's the same word. Same thing. All right, Phil. But there's nothing here. Spices, maybe. Unless they call ghost pepper oh. spice. No, there's ghost pepper. You taste it more after you eat a couple. Oh, it builds. <laughs> but it only comes in after. It's starting to build. <laughs> Still not spicy though. They're very delicious. Yeah. They're, they have a whole bunch of different flavors of their potato chips. They're very good. They're very delicious. Yeah. The crispiness is really nice and refreshing. Mm. Very good. I would give them a nine and a half. <laughs> Which means today we have a series of nine and a halves. It can't all be nine and a half though. You can't give the same score. Yes, right. we can. Equal opportunity. Equality. No, no, no. Okay. This is where you. Ha this is where we have to separate it. Okay, we rank it. We we rank it from top to bottom. I will rank mine. This is this is top. This is bottom. Okay. okay. So you put the chicken first, then the ghost pepper, then the fuego, then the barbecue curry, then the explosion, and then the cheddar cheese of the last. Yes. Okay. My ranking will be fuego in first place. Also just really hard favorite. Um, it's hard, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll do explosion in second place. Chicken, ghost pepper, barbecue curry, and then cheddar. Okay. Because I like these, but... I think it's fair. I like these, but from a heat perspective and everything else, I like these better. This one especially better. So that's just one. Congratulations, Mexico. Thank you for ordering them. You're welcome. There's not going to be any link in the description because Kim just randomly bought these and I randomly bought those. So, yep. Well, that was a very fun episode. Mm -hmm. I was uh, really scared of the spice. I was expecting to cry. To really taste it though, you would have to eat like, you would have to have like three or four of each one, I think, to build up. That's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> She's scared. I enjoyed them all a lot. They're good, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I really want to. You really do, like Takis, right? I really wanted to try the Korean one, and that one's very spicy for me. But Kim says we've tried it before, so it's not authentic to the video. But the point is, well, the video is to introduce these snacks to people too, so she clearly doesn't know the plot. No matter. Um, thank you for watching. We could do that one day. We should do that one day. Do our f favorite like snacks from the like nations or super uh, supermarket or whatever. Super smooth. 
I was gonna say Superstore, but it's Supermarket. not a Superstore. Yeah, we could do that, that, for sure. Do that. Um, yeah, so uh, if you guys know of any unique flavored chips or candies or snacks that you would like us to try, let us know in the comment section. Mm -hmm. If we can get it here though, that's the hard thing. Even on Amazon. Or you can so. ship it to us. If there's it's something true. you really want us to try, ship it to us. We're, we'll, we can make a special like sourced snacks from our... We do have a P.O. box. We do have a P.O. box, so... Anyways. Maybe we should start including that into our comments. We'll just put it in our about. Just about. Cool. Wonderful. Well, um, thank you guys for Admin. watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, anyway. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Be intentional for love. Aww. Aww. I mean, I like that one better. Be intentional. I... Be intentional for food, y'all. You just said y'all. I am married to the seven. That is accurate. Anyway. Bye. Bye. Don't tell me what to do.